2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Right now, I don't have, have all the functions at the top of my head, but I'll look into the functions I'll, and I'll tell you how to so count the number of fun, uh, number of spaces in a column. Yeah. So if you know the number of uh, how to count the number of spaces, you should be able to do it, right? Um, I, I yeah. believe so. You know, we still have to work through how to implement that um, problem, but yeah, but this this would be a logic. Whatever I told is that would be a logic. You will be if you know the number of spaces, then you do the uh, INSTR to find the first space. Take the next character, put a dot then find the next space, then read from the next, if that is the total number of spaces, then read the rest of the substring. If that is not the total number of spaces, then you have to again go for the next space until you get the last space, okay? Shobhan, does INSTR give us the total number of spaces or exactly the character where it where the space is located at? The INSTR returns the uh, location of that character. So, INSTR of first space will return you 4. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks. So, okay. Now, I will anyway uh, uh, try to see uh, which function to use to count the number of spaces. Okay. So any other question for me? Okay, then let's do some other uh, transformation today. So I'm hoping that you guys are also reading the document because the, uh, the document is very important and you have to read the document otherwise it's tough. Okay, transformation, create. Let's see what transformation do we have. First, I'll go through all the easy transformations, and then eventually we'll go through the uh, complex transformations. Okay. So I'm just trying to see what are the easy transformations we have. Okay, we will do the router today. We'll do the rank today. Okay. So let's do. Let's try a new mapping. M underscore router um, employee okay and then okay uh, one way I have told you earlier is to copy a mapping is drag and drop right the another way is what I can do is I can open this mapping and I can select it how much I want to copy, let's say I want to copy this much, I'll do control C. Actually, I don't want to copy all this, let's say, um, let's take this one. It's basically the same, let's take this one, okay. So what I want to do is I want to copy this thing, so you select it, then do control C, and go back to the mapping where you want to paste it, I want to paste it in the router, and do control V. Okay, so this is another way of doing it very quickly. So now what I want to do is, I have, um, I want to create basically two files. One is for department number 50 and one is for department number 30. Or let's see, which department has some amount of data.
So department number 80 has few records, I can see, and department number 50, okay. So what I want to do is I want to create two, two files, one is for department number 50 and one is for department number 80, okay. So I will do a router. I, I, I'll first create the router, to, uh, show you how it works, and then I'll explain it, okay. So I'll create a router. And then in the router, go to groups, and then I want to create two groups. One is for department number. I just you can give any name, so I'm giving it a name relevant, which is department number 80. And then another group, some relevant name is department number 50. Now in the group, I have to give some conditions. So I'll give a condition like this: department number is equal to 80 and okay okay basically let's do one thing let's first connect the ports and then we'll do it that way it will not throw any error so these are the ports I want to connect Now if you look to this router transformation very closely, then you will see <coughs> Excuse me. So if you look to this router transformation closely, you will see it has only one, imp one set of input ports, right? These are all your input ports. You don't see output ports here. Rather you see two, th actually three set of output ports. One is, one says department number 80, one says department number 50, and one says default. Now what I'm going to do is I'll do a control C and control V of the target, and I will rename it. So rename the target as employee underscore 50, and I will rename the other one as employee underscore 80. Now, I'm, I'll connect this one to employee 80 because these are all the, empl uh, all the uh, employees who are from department number 80, right? So department 80, phone number, which one is that? Why I have two phone numbers here? I think phone Oh, I used a variable here. Okay, <clears throat> so your mapping should look like this. You have a router which has one set of input ports and two set of output ports. Each output port is connected to one target. I will explain it later. Let's find first see how my output looks like and then I will explain it, okay?
So uh, uh, this is Tunde. So router transformation is used to uh, load data to multiple targets from one source. No, uh, uh, hold on your questions for a few more minutes because I am I, the way I do it is first I'll show you how the data looks like, then I'll go in details about the transformation, then I'll okay. take your questions. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Let's uh, since it failed. Let's let's see something. Okay, so let's say if your mapping fails. So for the first place, I will try to see the reason why the ma my mapping failed is the failure information. It says me that this system could not find this path. So this path is not correct. So I know the reason, but this is the first place you should look to uh, if a mapping fails. And I, if a session fails, and I'll tell you, you how to look into the session log that later on. But this is the first place you should look. Okay. So I did a misspelling, which is TGT files should be. I, I'm missing the I. I can rerun the session from here also, right click, start task. Okay, now it succeeded, it has uh, loaded 45 records. Let's see how the records look like and then we will look into that. So this is my one mass file, it says all department number 50 data and then I look to another file. This are all department number 80 data. Okay. <coughs> so now let's look into the details about this transformation. Router transformation is basically, if you look closely, it is somehow look similar, not look, but somehow work very similar to a filter transformation. Let's say, so what I'm trying to do here is I have a data from uh, for all the departments. Uh, I have the employee data for all the departments and I want to segregate the data based on the department ID. One is department ID is equal to 80 and another one is department ID is equal to 50. So what I did is in the router I created two groups. One group is for department number 80 and one group is department number 50. And in the filter condition, I gave the filter condition as department number 80. So that way, what and then for the other one, I gave the filter condition as department number 50. Now what is happening here is the records are coming, all the records are entering this router transformation 
and all the department number 80 are filtering out their router is filtering out all the department number 80 and sending out through this pipeline this pipeline and all the all the records for department number 50 it is sending out through this pipeline now the basic difference between router i could have achieved the same thing using a filter two filter filter transformation right i could have added two filter transformation one is is for department number 80 and one is for department number 50 but the basic difference between the filter transformation and the router transformation is first thing in filter the rows which does not satisfy the condition those rows are actually filtered out so when i'm saying filtered out that means those rows are lost you cannot capture those rows okay in router transformation what happens is the rows which does not satisfy all these conditions they are captured in default transformation default ports so that means if i connect the default ports i can see the rows which are not from department number 80 and not from department number 50 rest of the department rows first thing second thing if i have a condition which satisfies more than one group then this row will appear in more than one group that means what i'm trying to tell you is let's say if i change the group condition is something like this like salary is greater than 5000 and also for the next group sorry for the next group i gave the condition is like salary is greater than 10000 so that means anyone who has salary 11000 he will appear in group 1 as well as in group 2 because 10, 11,000 is greater than 5,000, 11,000 is greater than 10,000. So that means any row which satisfies more than one condition will show up in more than one groups. Got it? Now you can ask me any question. Let me just see real quick. Yes, it does not have any. Yeah. Ask me any question now. Hello. So this is a single source to multiple target. Can it be multiple yes. source to multiple target? See, when you are using multiple source, then you have to use some transformation like a, a joiner or union, which I have not shown yet. But you have to okay. use joiner or union to first club those sources into a single pipeline after that if again you want to load the data into multiple targets you can use a router okay thank you anyone else any question no Okay, so in, in the router transformation, one other thing I wanted to tell here is in this filter condition, you can put more than one filter conditions. That means I can say department number is 80 and department and the salary is greater than 5,000, greater than 5,000. Also, if I want to use any function, let's say, if department number is 80 and salary is greater than 5000 then only pass or any other any other 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 functions like substring of something and if you see the first three characters is equal to abc then only pass those records got it so i can use any uh, any other functions along with this conditions I so this is more or less all about router. Yes, tell me. Yes, I in this transformation that we are doing, do we have where we can just write a circle, like a, instead of using GUI for it, like okay, if I want to set the condition, can I just write a circle instead of using a function or expression for it? Okay, um, 
you cannot write a SQL because right now I am reading data from a flash file. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So but we will really see how to write SQL and everything. In, not now. When we'll start reading the data from um, database, then I'll show you how to write the SQL and everything. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so this is more or less your um, router transformation. Mm, let's see one other transformation today. That is your rank transformation. Okay, I want to do the same thing. I want to copy this mapping again and paste it into my rank transform rank mapping. Okay. Now what I want to do is with rank I have to tell you a little bit about the rank transformation otherwise you will not understand. So let me first connect these ports and then I will tell you. So what I want to do is, um, let me connect it. Excuse me. Okay. So what I want to do is, I want to see the top two salaried people in each department. Got my point? So I want to see the top two salaried people in each department. So what I'm going to do is, I want to, that means, my I want to group by uh, the data based on department ID, right? I'm getting my point, what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So what I'm do, I want, want to do is, I want to group by the data based on my department ID and I want to see the top two salaries. So it's net salary. Uh, it's let's not take the net salary because it has commissions and all. Let me see if, uh, how does the net salary look like. Uh, net salary is no, 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 no. Let's not take the net salary. Let's take the only salary. Hold on. That way we will be able to see some data for everything. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I want to see the top two salaried people in each department. So that means I am doing a group by on each department and doing a ranking on salary. Now since I want to see the top two salary, I, I will select here top and how many to ranks to, to two ranks means top two salary okay let's see the data then I'll come back to the properties of rank again
Okay. See here. For department number 10, I have only one guy. That's why you got only one record. For department number 20, I have two guys. Like, these are the two top two salaries. For department number 30, these are the top two salaries. For department number 40, I have only one guy. So, it will return only one row. Okay. So I got the top two salaries for each department. Now this guy does not have a department. So for null also I got one record. Now let's go back to my transformation. So if I want to see the top or bottom, I have to select it from here. So rank is used to find the top or bottom and the number of ranks you want to see. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you here is, let's show you. So I connected the rank index to serial number. Now let's look at the serial number, how it looks. See, if you look to the serial number, it says 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. So that means rank index is nothing but when you are saying that give me top 2, top 3, rank of each department, that rank index is the serial number within that, that department. So within that group, it creates the serial number. Okay. So through rank, you can get the top or bottom ranks, and then you have to select how many ranks you want to see, and then you, if, it's, if you want to do a uh, a rank based on some character field, then you can select whether you want to do a case sensitive or not. So these are more more or less properties of a rank transformation. So any questions from rank transformation? No? Okay, so we are almost done with all the easy transformations. Maybe I think one or two easy transformations are left. That will be covered in the next class. Then we will start doing little bit complex transformations. And eventually we will go to those complex transformations. Uh, yes, a union is easy. Sorter we have seen, rank. And then it's actually union is the last one, which is easy transformation. Then we will have to go to joiner or rank and all, a joiner normalizer and all. So, so next day what we'll do is we'll see the union transformation and a very very important thing, which is how to get rid the data from a database table. So make sure you don't miss next day's class. Okay, and I want to go through the assignments and see what are the assignments you can do. Any questions? Yeah, for in, uh, informatica installation, Sopna, after this class I'll talk to you and see it. What is the problem? Okay. Okay. Assignment one, assignment two, assignment three also explained. Assignment four actually you cannot do right now because I have not shown you. Once I tell you the aggregator, you can do for assignment four, five. Okay, try to do the assignment number six, but don't use the rank transformation without using the rank transformation. Actually, let me do one thing. Let me tell you the aggregator transformation as well, and then you can do assignment number four and five. So let me 
we do the aggregated transformation as well and uh, that way you can Okay, I, I'll let, um, see the trans, uh, ex, uh, installations part once the this class is done. Okay, or uh, since many of you have already installation problem, so let then let's keep the class this much today. Uh, let me uh, work with the people who have installation problem so that they can work. Otherwise, it will be too much for them. So this is the plan, and let me know if anyone has. Any Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com.